when they took Jesus to the high priest and all the chief priests, elders, and teachers of the law. Peter followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest. There he sat with the guards and warmed himself by the fire. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. She saw him warming himself. She looked closely at him. You also were with that Nazarene Jesus, she said, but he denied it. I do not know or understand what you are talking about, he said, and went out into the entryway. When the servant girl saw him there, she, she said again to those standing around, This fellow is one of them. Again, he denied it. After a little while, those standing near said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, or you are a Galilean. He began to call down curses on himself and swore at them, I do not know this man you are talking about. Immediately the rooster crowed the second time. And Peter remembered the words Jesus had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. Peter broke down and wept.
man called Barabbas was in prison in the insurrections, who had committed murder in the uprising. The crowd came up and asked Pilate to do for them what he usually did. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate, knowing it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed Jesus over to him. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release Barabbas instead. What shall I do then with the one you call the king of the Jews? I asked them. Crucify him, they shouted. Why? What crime has he committed? asked Pilate. They all shouted all the louder, Crucify him! Wanting to please the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led Jesus away out, that is, the Praetorium, and called together the whole company of soldiers to put a purple robe on it, and twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on. Then they began calling out to him, Hail, King of the Jews. Again and again they struck him and spit on him. Falling on their knees, they paid homage to him. And then when they had mocked him, they took off put his own clothes on him, and they let him out to crucify him. Oh, so share. 